The MID function is going to allow us to truncate a string and only capture what we're really looking for in this particular string. So now that I've explained the INSTR function, let me go on and write some code out for the MID function to give you some examples. The MID function though is, is pretty simple. I'm first off going to create a variable. I'm going to call this the string. I'm just going to put it as equal to hello, this is just a test. The price is. I'm just going to put it a dollar sign, 699. And I'm just going to leave the variable like that. So INSTR, I'll explain in a bit, although we've already covered that. But what I'm going to, we're going to explain is the MID function first. If we were to do new string is equal to MID. So first off, we need to give it the existing string. We're going to put the string. Let's just say that we wanted to capture the first five characters of a string. You want to give it a starting starting index. In this case, some programming languages will start off with zero. Visual Basic will start off with a one. The first character is considered a one. And we'll just put length five. If I also do message box new string, it should give us the first five characters, which in this case is hello. If we wanted to capture the last five characters, then we would need to do something a little bit different. We would need to find out the length of this string. And then we would need to subtract five from it. And then we would want to go five characters over as the length. So now if I hit F5, this should give us the last five characters of the string. And it gives us dollar six point nine nine. So that is five characters long. So I just want to give an example as to what the MID function does. It's you simply put the starting position of the string that where, where you want to start capturing data from and how many characters over to the right that you want to go. So this is going to give you a real great way to parse data because now what we're going to do is we're going to combine using INSTR and the MID function together. That way we can capture specific data. And for this example, I'm going to use the source code from the previous video the where I talked about the INSTR function. Let's just say that we want to capture the item number. We already explained in the source code from the page that we're looking at that it's item colon, non-breaking space, non-breaking space, and then the item number, and then it has a BR tag at the end. So let's just say I put the string is equal to, and we want to capture the item number. So let me explain to you how this is going to work. We're going to put new string is equal to MID, the string. And when you're working with this, don't get discouraged. You get it wrong the first time. Sometimes looking at numbers and coding all day, you may get frustrated and make mistakes. So just kind of mess with it until you get it right. So I'm going to use the string though. And my starting position, I'm going to put INSTR. And I'm going to be looking at the string. And I'm looking for item colon and then the, and then the name breaking spaces. So that's going to give me the starting position. But for those of you that are really sharp, you're probably cat catching this already. This is only going to give a starting position as one because this is item and then the non-breaking space, non-breaking space. Item is the very first character in this string. So really, this code by itself will not work. We need to know the length of this specific string right here. Since we already know it, you can just simply count it. So that's 17. So my starting position should be the position of the item string plus 17. And I just want to go for right now. I'm just going to put five spaces over. And if I also do message box new string, I'm going to hit F5 and play it. I'm getting 13920. So I'm just getting five characters over. But I know for a fact that on this web page, the item numbers are sometimes greater than five characters in length. Sometimes they're even four. So what we want to do next is find out where the BR tag is. 
So what you can do here, ultimately, if you want, is you can put 20 characters over if you want. So now if I hit F5 and hit play, now we have 13920 plus the BR tag. So what we can do next is, of course, remove the BR tag. And instead of using the replace function, we're going to continue to use the MID function and the INSTR function. So now that we know that a new string is just the item number plus the BR tag and whatever may be left over to the right, you just do new string is equal to MID, the string. And then in this case, the starting position, we want it to be the one. And let's just say we go 30 characters over. I'm gonna just gonna show you what this does really quick so you can see nothing is really happening here. Better yet, I'm gonna put one Five. I'm, I only want the first five characters of the string. I'm going to hit F5. That's only going to give me item colon. And that's not what we want. So I knew I messed up. Under new string is equal to your second one, this, instead of me capturing the original variable, I should be looking at the new string variable. And if I put the first two characters, that's going to give me the first two numbers of the item number. If I was to place a 5, that's going to give me the entire item number. But now again, what we want to do is cut it off after the BR tag. So we're starting position is 1. Let's find out our last position. It should be INSTR, new string. And what we're looking for is the start of the BR tag. Now we should subtract 1, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to put it like that and hit F5 and we're not getting anything and I think I know the reason behind that I would need to put it as lowercase when I capture the code the BR tag was in lowercase so it's not finding anything so it's not part it's not correctly cutting the data right so I'm gonna put lowercase BR and hit F5 play it out and so now we're getting 13920 and then the less than sign that's part of the BR tag and so that's why I explained on purpose that it should be the BR tag, the start of it, minus 1. So now if I hit F5 and hit string functions, we get 13920. So now the product number could be extremely long, so I'm on purpose going to make it, I don't want to make it over 20 characters, but I'll put it like that and hit F5. We play it out. And the only reason why we get this error is because this 20 right here, I knew this would kind of be an issue. I need to change that to like a, maybe a 40 and hit close this out, play it again. And now it worked. So now we get the entire item number. So now we're all set. This should give you a good familiar view of the INSTR function, the MID function, and how we're going to use that in parsing HTML data. Right now I'm only giving you one piece of line. In the next video we're going to be using a full web page. We're going to be going through the web page and looking at all of the item numbers on the page and all of the product titles and hopefully you get more familiar with web page extraction.